Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you are doing great and tomorrow is very important day for those who are going to appear in paper 4A2 level economics on 26th October. Uh, tomorrow is a grand class that will be conducted in Asas Academy F8 Islamabad tomorrow and class timing is 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you want to join this class uh, physically, you may come there. And if you want to join online class, then you may request me. I will give you the number. Number is showing on the screen right now. Uh, you can WhatsApp me. I will get you registered through the academy. And definitely you can join class online through Zoom as well. And it will be a, definitely a great booster class, inshallah. Ta'ala. Okay, so uh, the purpose of this video is uh, to explain an important question that was requested by a student. And I'm going to basically explain that question right now. You can stop the video. You can see a question on the screen that is question number 21. And you can think about this question and try to figure it out. And afterwards, you can start the video and read whatever or listen whatever I'm saying. Okay, so I'm explaining this question. The question says to increase its labor force from 100 to 101 workers, a firm has to increase its daily wage rate from 400 to 405 dollars. What is the marginal cost of labor per day? Okay, so uh, we have to basically find out marginal cost and the formula for marginal cost is change in total cost divided by change in quantity. Here, the quantity is basically number of workers. So we need these two figures and then we can finally figure out what is the marginal cost of this question. Okay, so we can basically uh, write down number of labor or workers here and then we can write down wages per worker and then total cost of labor. So when we employ 100 workers, wage rate is 400. So wage rate is 400. So 400 multiplied by 100 will give us 40,000. This will be the total cost of 100 workers. Now we decided to employ one additional worker and wage rate has increased to 405. Now what we have to do is to find out total cost, we can multiply 101 with 1405 so 101 multiply by 405 will give us 40905 now we need change in total cost and change in total cost here would be the difference between 4905 minus 40000 that is equal to 905 and we need change in number of workers that is change in quantity that, that is equal to 1 100 1 minus 100 will give us 1. Now put these values into the formula. If we plug these values here, so 905, 905 divided by 1 is equal to 905. So 905 is the correct answer. That is option C. And in most of the cases, uh, like generally students read the question and they immediately see the difference in wage rate, that is 400. 5 minus 400 and they generally select option A but option A is not correct answer you need to find out total cost first then you can find out change in total cost and change in quantity so this is it if you have any question you want to ask from me then you are more than best most welcome you can post on the comment box I will try to figure out uh, those questions as early as possible so don't forget to join the grand class that is six hours class tomorrow that will start from 3 p.m and will it it will continue till 9 p.m so this nine six hours class will be a great booster inshallah for all of you so uh, don't forget to contact at zero triple three double four two nine six seven three this is whatsapp number you you may uh, write your name and you may send request on this whatsapp number to get yourself registered so this is it so see you thank you allah face